Hey Taurus, I hope you guys are doing amazing. Happy Thursday, happy holidays, because you know what? It's that time. It's that time. And honestly, I don't really like Christmas, like for the fact that people buy people things. And I don't really like Thanksgiving for the fact that, you know, like you have to get together with family. It's actually like the point being that people actually make time for family. So it's that's, I think that's the most beautiful thing about the holidays is that people actually make time for the loved ones okay that that's that's actually amazing because you know what they're actually thinking about getting people gifts and they're actually thinking about what that person would want and honestly that means that they're thinking of that's why it's the most magical time of the year everybody's thinking of everybody everybody's loving everybody um i mean really right and if you're not in that mode of loving i don't know what you're doing because uh you must have some kind of grudge or something that you're holding on to and you might as well let it go this is just a spiritual message this is just channeling i'm kind of i'm going with whatever i'm going with and whatever comes my way right now so y'all will just know that i'm just kind of listening to what the spiritual energies has given to me what the frequency of the vibration it is that i am feeling in internally because it's the way that i receive the messages and be able to get give the energy that I'm receiving to you that you're going to be able to have that best reaction to the best response to because it's going to in energetically wise vibrate to you in a different mean a different way a different you know standpoint whatever it may be so just take it as, as it flows okay there's nothing to force there's nothing to push there's nothing to you know anything just allow it to be being is all we're supposed to do as human beings that we are okay we're supposed to be um anyway the feeling of christmas the feeling of holiday maybe some of you don't like it maybe some of you're like oh people just get so spoiled or this or that there's so much that you know and i get that actually i truly do if you guys watch Flo, you should watch her video that she recently just did i think she talked about it today day in her life but you know honestly i'm just gonna say like i like holidays only because they actually have a meaning to people being able to um get together and they have that time to do so the one thing i really don't like is like how they have valentine's day but people still have to work like oh okay and, and you still have to go to school like oh okay um, and that's really the the best the best day for me because it's really all about love no matter what my life is very very much so revolving around love and that's like my day valentine's day is my day and it feels just more influential and more powerful to me because i already revolve around love every day so when that day comes it just feels that much more like i am alive this is where i belong everybody's loving everybody today and you know that's actually the point i'm trying to make we should love each other every day and that's why i'm in the, the, the loving sensation of love all the time i want love i want love for all all of y'all y'all deserve love everybody does i don't care what they've done if they've done something bad that's probably because they need love more you know what i mean like some people don't see it that way but i'm gonna be honest with you a lot of people lack the empathy lack the emotional intelligence lack that support lack that compassion lack that ability to understand and a lot of people suffered in ways that make them do something that isn't the greatest but that's not because they're unlovable it's because they never felt that they were lovable it's because they never were able to truly know how it was to love themselves and that hurts that really does um and it's really hard to love yourself when you're around a lot of people that really don't know how to do that too you know and it really is hard to teach yourself something that a lot of people haven't been teaching you a lot of people haven't even taught um and uh, I, I do feel like I, there's a sense of your own given strength here Taurus, that i'm talking about today and that be, that could be exactly what you are too you're a loving energy a loving source you just want to spread the love everywhere you go you want to make sure people feel good right you want to compliment somebody because you know that's going to make them smile because you know that they need that smile maybe you're not going to compliment the ones that already get a lot of compliments you're going to compliment the ones that you know need the compliment um you know and that's the feeling that you get in that sensation that could be your true power your true given instinct you would just know that's the feeling of instinct right it's instinctual for you to do those things and give to those that maybe feel less fortunate and that's not really the way i want to say it because i don't believe in that kind of thing <clears throat> because guess what nobody's really less fortunate if you were to see it like that oneness would be less fortunate and oneness is actually the most fortunate so all of us together are worthy enough um but i see that you want to make others really feel that way so that's actually really amazing and really creative too because it's a part of who you are you're authentically living your your true self out there you see what i'm saying you aren't trying to hide you're not trying to cover up there's no mask i'm feeling the vibrations so i'm actually getting the quivers because the vibrations actually shake through me when i am very connected 
connected to source. And that's because we're all energy and we're all vibrating um, at a certain vibrational level and everything. And you all really got magical, m -m -m magical energy about you. I love it though because I could like do this all day. It's kind of giving me that feeling like I could levitate. You know what I mean? And that's actually where I love to be. That's why I do the readings. That's why I do the readings. That's exactly why it gives me that feeling of totally in tune with God. God is there and he is with us all. And I love him and he loves you and he loves us as much as we love those that we're thinking about right now for these holidays, what we're going to do for these people. Are we going to be able to see all these people? Are we going to be able to contact these people? What are we going to do to make these people smile? What are we going to do to make this Christmas worthwhile? These holidays amazing and ones to look back on and remember forever. And maybe some of you have family that doesn't get along and stuff like that, but I get that there's going to be a slight different in us, difference and change in that this year. For you guys specifically, it's all going to be like, um, you may have some anxiety prone like energy going into making dinner, having people over, you going to somebody's house or you going out to dinner with specific inter individuals. Maybe some of you just got into a recent relationship. I'm only, like I said, I'm channeling and I do feel like that you're actually going to feel so at home. You may be feeling so anxious and so nervous and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the first time I'm going to be meeting their family. And you know what? You're going to do so well. They're going to love you. There's nothing that you do wrong at all. You know what? They're just going to really see the genuine love that you have for their their family member, their son, their daughter, their uh, cousin, their nephew, their niece, their uncle, whatever it may be, you know, like they're just going to see the love that you have. And I'm just loving it because I'm getting into it so much. And I do feel like you guys are just going to notice the difference of love and the frequency will change and the atmosphere will be so much more peaceful and you won't even really even have any thoughts of negativity or anything prone to feeling anything from the past. I'm getting all the quivers, man. This is what it's like for channeling for me and I actually really do enjoy it and it's like I could do this all day but I don't want to I like to have tarot because the only reason I do tarot is because it just makes it more interesting and it makes it more fun and that, like, that's the real reason it's not that I, don't, I really don't need it y'all I just I just like to do it it's just fun I like to shuffle and I like to do, 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 do and I love it and and I also love this so I hope you guys also love this too because this is like the first time I'm actually allowing myself to totally channel through with y'all right now. And <clears throat> it's just because like God has just been talking to me and telling me to just open up. There's nothing you really need. You know, you know that the tools are already within you. And that's, that's, that's such the beautiful thing. And that could be something you guys need to hear too, is the tools are already in you. You don't need to be looking outside of yourself for things. Taurus, you could just be looking right on inside yourself and you have those tools. And if those tools aren't necessarily, um, let's see, like activated, right? You have the ability to do that. You have it, you have it in you already. All the things you need are within you always. Everything you ever are going to need to get through life is within you already. Okay, and I feel like a lot of you may need that too. That's just a powerful message. It really is. And um, I, I could say it and sit and say it all day because it just gives me more energy and it makes me feel so good. It really, really does. It really, really does. Oh, God, you are a miracle. We love you. Oh, man. Thank you to our spirit team today. Thank you for all of you showing up. We really do love you. And that's it. Love. That's, there's no there's no force on love. There's no obsession with that. There's no, like, it, it's just love. It's just a vibration of true, like, I know you care about me as much as I care about you. And that's, that's it. That's all we need. That's what the world needs. <laughs> more compassion, more love, more empathy, more understanding. We don't need to judge. You know who you know who judges? You know who's got that job and we don't we could never do this per it's almost like that supervisor or that boss, you know, you you know for a fact you could probably never do that job as good as they do it. That's God's job. And if they do think that they could probably do better, and then some people, and I'm not gonna lie, there is a good, there is a good section of maybe a good 45% situations, yes, that honestly they probably could do a better job, right? And I get that. But the other part is about what 55%, and that's more of the ego talking and trying to get in the way of that and invade it. But <clears throat> Because there's there's ego for lots of reasons. Somebody wants to do something better than somebody else because they, they could prove the fact that they could and that would make them feel better. They pride themselves as better. Other There are others of the ego. is like, I want to be in that position so that I could do less and be lazier. 
and you know what I'm saying? So they're, oh yeah, I can do a better job. They can get to that job in that position and do nothing, right? And that's their ego. They just didn't want to do anything. They just want to get paid, but they and they want more money, but they didn't want to do more, so they wanted to do less. So they found a way to get to the top to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So there's ego in lots of ways. Y'all just you need to, you need to open yourself to see. The energy will show you. You know what I mean? And I, I love that too, cause that's I, I read through people like it's. <sighs> I see you. <laughs> they can't run. They can't hide. They can't do anything. And I love that too. And I know who to stay away from because of it. And I know that God actually keeps people away from me on purpose. You know what I'm saying? God's rejection is his protection. It will always and forever be that way. And I love that too, because thank you, God. Thank you. Um, you know, everything that he knew that I didn't need added to my plate that I really wish was something, but he knew it was going to be some molded cheese that was going to be added to my plate and that was not going to be healthy for me right mm. okay y'all i'm only talking in for forms of food and i just got this the reason why the food form came through is because you guys are taurus and food is definitely resonating with you a lot of taurus's energy is about that food it's not about like unhealthy food i mean some can be but i guess you know we all have that right balance baby anyway the feeling is that you guys have like a feeling of healthy food overall 11 11 reflection of yourself with as above as a below as above so below as below <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with that i was about to mix some words together i was actually very curious to see what that was gonna be but we'll we'll, we'll just keep going because obviously i totally messed that up in that way of trying to figure out what that word was trying to come through it's like as as above below as below 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 <laughs> i don't know anyway so I do actually want to see some messages, messages. Let's see what kind of messages do come through. We have, there are certain things I have not told you yet. Some I haven't quite found out how to yet. And others I'm worried you'll view me differently if I do tell you. Um, so there's actually someone in your life right now. And it could definitely be someone that's very close to you. That's new. Maybe you've known them for quite some time or maybe a little while. Um, but there's some things that they have not been able to tell you yet. And I don't necessarily feel like you're going to judge them or that you're going to feel some kind of different way about them if they tell you. They just themselves are insecure about the way that you may view them. And it could be because of other people in their life that they had either experienced whatever they're going to tell you about with them or um, had heard about it from maybe from this, another person and then they get to actually explain themselves to the whole situation and it was really kind of maybe an embarrassing thing. I do feel like they are just worried because of those reasons. Like they're they've never met someone like you you know what I mean Taurus so you're gonna be the one that's gonna be astounding to them when they when they see that you don't really shift the gear when they tell you the things that they want to tell you obviously like there are th there's things I have not told you yet but and I haven't figured out how to tell you maybe the timing hasn't been correct right but they they're worried about that so they're just trying to figure out the maybe the best word the words of choice of how to go about it but still being authentic with it right and a lot of people struggle with that i'm not gonna lie mercury retrograde is probably gonna be the time for this person to not be saying anything because communication misunderstandings and all those things really do happen it's not that i'm blaming the planet y'all no blaming the planet no we're utilizing the planet for our further use of wisdom we want to continuously grow our wisdom and knowledge and we want to learn our lessons and to be able to do that we have to utilize the knowledge we have of the planets and the planet mercury does dominate communication okay so we gotta remember if it's in a retrograde place it's not where i'm not blaming my that planet for my mood swings i'm not blaming that planet for a miscommunication no i'm gonna understand it I'm going to understand it better because I know what's happening. As I, My knowledge is the fact that it's boom, it's right there. And I don't use it as an excuse. I use it as a leverage to get me to the next phase of whatever is after that lesson. You know what I mean? And that's the feeling for maybe some of you too. Maybe you need to have that as a backup too. A lot of people like, you can't be blaming planet as well. I'm not blaming it. I'm not blaming it. I'm actually utilizing it. I'm actually giving to it nonetheless, because you are, if you're thinking about it, you're giving to it. You're giving actually love and positivity and you're generating what it's all about through your brain, through your um, mental state. And you're allowing it to hit the emotional parts of you 
and allowing you to totally rearrange and there's a huge reflection that it comes with too okay so yes everything that happens is for a reason there's nothing that happens for no reason i'm saying it there's nothing that happens for no reason okay people need to be exposed there's why that's why bad things do happen eventually those people have to be exposed because they would have kept doing it and that's how you know that's why they needed to do that so that you would see that that's who that person is and that's who they will forever be because they would never change and they didn't want to be exposed so bad okay yes one more message Ooh, the lapis lazuli september sapphire this is the gemstone um truth the gem the gemstone of truth that powerful intense blue stone it puts you in a good mood when you got it in your hand but ancient migraine remedy supports immune system open minds and giving your self-enlightenment encouraging your self-awareness self-confidence knowledge peace harmony compassion and morality yeah so lapis lazuli the blues um the sapphires not the turquoise but the sapphire color lapis lazuli true stones I do feel like that could be a part of what you guys already have a power within yourself. Maybe that's one thing that God was trying to tell you today, that you actually have the power of a lapis lazuli. You are a powerfully amazing person and not even just a person, a soul, right? You are able to help. So when you, when people come around you, they have they have a better sense of a good mood. It's as simple as that okay you are able to help people that were maybe under a lot of tension a lot of stress right they had a little bit of a migraine a little bit of a headache you come around their good mood eases that headache and then all of a sudden their remedy for that headache was you okay you're able to help somebody maybe if they were feeling sick or ill and like you you may have a really strong immune system and you're able to be around people who are sick maybe you know like i feel like you, you some of you have that um and you're able to actually go around people and because you're such a strong immunity there's something within you that vibrates in that sense to be able to support someone else's immunity does that make sense yeah and you have this ability to help other people open their minds and give them enlightenment and encourage their own self-awareness and the self-awareness is like how they can take care of themselves how they can treat to themselves i do my own hair guys i do my own nails right now they're not done because i don't need them done there's no real needs there's no real reason i do have actual nails that i got from timu just because you know you have to have a stupid 20 dollar thing to pay um just to get something um anyway so i had to get me like one of those a dollar two dollar whatever nails just and i was like i'll get orange for thanksgiving screw it whatever um just so i could get my order it's like i really just needed two pairs of pants for me and two pairs of pants for my daughter and that was it and i was like oh i still have to push it to a 20 dollar thing dumb but anyway no they're not i'm not saying anything negative or anything like that it's just like eh, sometimes i get really expressive and like that's so ridiculous but okay whatever i wish it was like still 15 because it used to be 15 max whatever anyway you are able to help other people with their knowledge because you are so knowledgeable yourself and that's the that's the best thing is you may be like clairaudient and clairvoyant right and i know that a lot of my a lot of the collective energy that we have on our cosmic soul tribe is um and that's because i am so what you are you attract and that's exactly exactly what I love because I'll get back the energy I give out and I always remember that and I always will do that but that's exactly you show compassion like nobody's ever shown before and I I think that's exactly what you needed to hear today and I hope that it helped you in any way it could you guys are the best just believe that because God told you today and uh yeah no really like thank you for being you Taurus thank you for showing the love and being compassionate and helping other people being that good energy of yourself is so authentic and real and it's doing the realness of the real to help out the the fake get the hell out fake get out fake you know what I'm saying like we don't need you fake we need real and Taurus you're showing up as a real real and that's pushing the fake out because it's helping other people see what was about themselves was fake that they didn't need and that's 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 like beautiful like i don't know i can't i can't go any further that's it that's all i hope that's all she wrote i hope it didn't i hope it helped i really do